Hello and welcome everyone, Lahart here with part 124 of the Prussia Let's Play for Napoleon Total War with Darth Mod. We continue where we left things off last time. Thank you once again for your comments, advice, tactics and suggestions. They're all greatly appreciated. Do keep them coming. So we pick things up where we left them last time, pretty much at the start of a new turn. As we can see, it looks like the French rebels have succeeded in taking Paris for themselves. It would be interesting to see if France starts pulling back some of its armies and forces to deal with the uh, uh, rebel forces. Although there's only five armies outside of Paris and obviously one army inside. With the forces they've got in and around Reims, they should be able to crush it. Uh, pretty easily, but interesting to see that spawn on in. We're going to make uh, multiple pushes this episode uh, onto various French territories. Going to try and take Marseille, Toulouse, uh, Caen in Normandy. Possibly look to push towards Reims, although I think I might like to give it a, uh, one more turn. Um, I might push forward and see if we can draw a couple of these guys into a fight here and then descend on in with these guys or even actually move them over towards this bridge here uh, so that we can kind of uh, move around the forces at Reims so we can strike Paris and then slam on into Reims uh, with all of these guys moving on up. Uh, some of them do need a little bit of replenishment still. Uh, so we, we might hold our position here. Just give them one more turn's worth of pleasure. In fact, can we... Are there any generals available? No. So we might just have to swap a couple of them around for a bit more replenishment, then push on in. But that's fine over there. So we're going to start things off down here at Marseille. I'm going to try and actually get alongside it and then across that bridge, or at least see what is there. Um, okay, there's quite a few forces there. So we'll move in on Toulouse. To start with, just because I don't want to be drawn into it, but I'd like to try and um, secure a few territories that are going to be easy order resolves first, and then if we need a battle around Marseille, we can have that for the, the rest of the episode. So you guys are slightly weakened. Uh, oh, no, it's because I had to split up your artillery. If I move them in, you can't all go. So we just need to outnumber them. I'd like these three to push with Von Blucha. I was thinking about going over towards... Brittany, but I think we can probably push towards this bridge here and hold it and either face uh, French rebels or um, actual French uh, Empire forces. We'll see because these guys can move up to look after the lands behind us. So, that's sort of my most complete army together. There we go. Send you out here. You next to them. You guys in as well. It may not trigger until I cross that bridge, but let's see what happens. No, I've got to it. Good, we don't need to fight that one. But let's move these guys in because there's multiple bridges here. Oh, in fact, if I could get to that one, that'd be even better, but I don't think I can. Not, no, especially without my artillery. Oh, here we go. You guys can actually get into the Lord's army there. You're going to be brought on. Oh, no, I was just thinking I should put you in somewhere to replenish. There we go. You guys are good to move on up as well, so we'll keep on going there. Uh, we can push up with these guys once Marseille is clear. Let's jump on in there. These bridges now no longer need to be held, but you need replenishing. You're waiting for a general. Yeah, and there's the last cavalry unit into it. Let's take... Actually, that means these guys are all free. Good. If on blue can move off the bridge so the other armies can go up with you. Can't all go that way. They can go there. Fine, I'm going to send you guys this way. And von Bluka to actually move... Okay, it sends him a weird way if I go around via the road. Let's send him here. Maybe we can't get onto the bridge. Okay, we can't get onto the bridge itself, which is it's okay, actually. I'm going to leave these cannons behind so I can keep these guys together. Don't mind losing those cannons if I absolutely have to. You guys go in there, which actually means I don't need to leave these guys behind. I thought I might have to. That's fine. You guys go through here. You might be able to ambush near those trees. This army can also push on up. 
Good. Good. So yeah, you guys just jump on into the settlement for the turn. And we can move you up. Spy goes that way. Let's get these guys moving towards Normandy. We've got a spy in here. Not that I really need a spy over here now, but that's fine. I'll keep these guys along here. Strike. Okay, militia spam everywhere. Order resolve it. We could demand this render, but I don't want them getting away. Let's move on in and start claiming French territories. I think probably it won't be this episode. May not even be next episode. But uh, part 126, I reckon, will be the end of France. Just because we're probably going to have a big clash there for which I will remember to go into the options, game settings. Oh, we've, it's already set to no limit. In fact, I'm just going to leave it now at no limit. Although it does risk a, a bug, but just in case there is a big clash. Get you guys to clear these guys out. A slightly better contingent. In fact, not too much militia. Four. Yeah, four units in there, but still. That's going to go down. That's Toulouse claimed as well. France's uh, borders are falling. In fact, they've only got one, two, three left. It's kind of weird with the rebellion not actually setting up a separate faction there. Kind of odd. I guess it's uh, Napoleon uh, rebellions different than others. Other Total War games. We could push in through here, but I don't think we need to. Like, a lot of their armies over here, we won't end up fighting. It's a bit of a shame, but there's no point chasing down all these armies. We'll have a clash round Reims. It looks like they've got a fair few concentrate there, but we probably could do with a turn or so of replenishment. I mean, we could just merge them all. We've got enough troops to just make good and merge, and then move on these guys. I'm still looking for Napoleon. I don't think I saw anyone in the comment section say they'd seen him anywhere. But he must still be hidden. Uh, anyway, let's move and let's make a march towards Marseille because I reckon if there is going to be a battle this episode it might well be there. Um, they've got, by the looks of things, some pretty decent troops in the area. That would be a true clash. Which would be interesting. Right. Our forces. Who's at full strength? Who's not? You guys have got an experimental howitzer in there. You guys have also got one. Does Marseille have walls? It does not. Good. Alright, you're the strongest, but... If we're gonna push forward, we will want to go with the experimental howitzers. So, send you forward. Um... I'm gonna... I'm gonna claim both for this army, actually. Uh, I'm going to take out the regular howitzer, and I'm going to take out those guys. So I have four armies moving along here. Guys are slightly wounded. So all of you guys from all the order resolves I did over the last couple of turns. Quite possibly. Oh, you guys are good. Let's bring you lot all the way forward. Can't move much further than that. Where's my elite force of... Uh, oh, there we go. Yeah, you guys unfortunately do need to replenish a little bit. But replenishers over there. Anyone that's good to keep on moving? Or are you all a little bit battered? Mass. I've all taken a bit of a battering. Oh, that one's That one's fine. Let's move on up to... We've all got to spill through here at some point or other. You guys are looking pretty pretty good. How many forces can actually keep on going forward? You guys are also fine. Right, let's move up with what we've got here then. Because it looks to me pretty reasonable. That's the ones that we want to trigger things with if they don't trigger before we get there. Right, we've got enough armies. Gonna get stuck before we can actually reach. I'll say I might get intercepted. I'm I'm gonna risk it. No, I've got all the way through. Nice. Right now we can bring up the forces. There's three 
armies total here. That is militia plus uh, artillery, but it's pretty... Well, it's not pretty broken, actually. It's taken a bit of damage. You guys are mix of militia and a couple of grenadiers. Light infantry, French middle guard. Plenty of cavalry. The actual initial force in the, uh, in the garrison at Marseille... Oh no, I've just realised there's loads of militia in there. They've got they've got some young guard in there. Okay, so if we can bring enough forces over here, we probably will order resolve it. If we can't though. The thing is I've actually got to bring more you know, definitely got to bring more forces up. We're gonna have to drop artillery is what we're gonna have to do. Which is annoying because you guys have the experimental howitzers and don't want to lose them, but we need to push forward to secure Marseille. Can't leave these guys on their own. Oh, seriously, that's as far as you guys can move. Wow. Let's can get up there. How does that look? Not much better. That is still bringing in the experimental howitzers. There we go. Bring you guys up as well. Nope. You guys walked a fair way, though. No, you're not going to be able to move. We're going to have to bring up this army. It's the only other one that can get all the way up here, basically. Are we going to need to fight it, or will the order is all carry the day? Oof. Actually, it looks like we're going to have to fight this one. Or we hold for a turn to bring up and wait to bring up more forces, because they can't get round us. And they can they cross over there? Oh, no, they can, they can move on round, but surely we'd clip them. You would think. I'd be, I'd be tempted to wait and see what they do, actually. I don't think I've tried sieging anyone out. Unless uh, we can make good... Mm, we can push up from here, actually. Quite nicely. What about the rest of these guys? You really do need some more replenishment, though. But we can put, put you in for an ambush there. Along with these guys. I'd then say let's bring this army over there. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna risk waiting a turn there until either they pull away and the odds are easier for us to mash through, or we can bring up more of our armies. At the moment, that's not super favourable, but we need to bring. We've got to keep most of our armies here because otherwise they're not going to replenish. Let's get them all get them all moving forward. Anyone with a general, that is, of course. Need some extra troops in when they need it. So you can have another cannon. You guys are down probably a cavalry. Oh no, you're down a sharpshooter actually. Silesian Schutzen. Be precise. I don't have any more of those. But what I can give you is a cavalry unit. Which we'll have to do. You guys are currently not replenishing. You need to be popped into a building somewhere. I'm about to say, I'm going to have to pull you back unless you guys have all replenished. You guys are good to go, though. Pull you through over here. Gonna have to start rotating them through buildings every so often. Just get more generals in when we can. There's actually quite a few of them here. That's fine. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Nowhere to send... Well, there's a port over there, actually. I'll pull you back to the port. Pull you back to port. Uh, where are you guys going? You can go and fill the gaps here. Go in there. And who got stuck over here that can still move? They're moving, but no. We'll, we'll hold where they are. How about back here? You guys replenished yet? Yes, you have. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. 
And you go militia. Got that one repairing. You guys are all good as well. Assemble all the armies. Cavalry, that's another force. We finally dealt with the French that caused us trouble over there. So yeah, I think we'll wait. We'll probably wait a turn here as well then. And then push in next turn against Reims. Give our boys some more time to replenish. But let's organize them properly if we can. Uh, in there to replenish. You guys are nearly replenished. Quite though, but we'll do. Right. Um, good armies I'm going to put over here. Ne basically fully replenished. Or near fully replenished. Those are all good. Yeah, you guys barely took any hits. You guys can just be sorted out by merging some troops together. You guys are a little bit more tattered. Things we can move to this new border here. We don't need to watch the bridges anymore. So let's push out with all of these guys. Thinking you guys can... Aha, uh -huh, yes. To Cleves. Oh, didn't actually mean to send you there, but it'll work. This army is okay. I can actually pull them over here to replenish more. So let's do that so we can put someone else in that spot. Um, you guys are nearly there. In fact, I'm going to merge up the rest of you now to hold. And we push across next turn. Come on, merge faster. Right, weaken troops out of that army. Oh, those two. It's admin time with Lionheart. Merge the rest. Is it one unit at a time in this, which is rather slow and annoying? Then suddenly it'll do loads. Right. Guys are not full strength. You guys are all just extra infantry. You guys are nearly there. I just need a little bit more. By swapping some of them over into that force we just pulled out, we might be able to make some more replenishment. Some more units whole. Oh, one, two, three, four. Into that group. Merge these guys up some more. You guys are pretty darn good. So, okay, you're going to look after the bridge for me now. What do you guys need? You guys need cavalry. You will take all four of that army's cavalry. You are now whole. You'll watch the bridge. You guys need more infantry and cannons. How many more cannons? You guys also don't have any. You can have two more cannons. And then... Cavalry infantry. Cavalry unit. Infantry unit. You can now go to the front. Watch that section there as well. So we'll move here. Also this mine to use. You guys together go in there. Let's go to the gold mine. Extra reserves in the center. Army over here. Looking pretty good. Good. Alright, get ready for the push. Next turn. That is when we march on Reims. We're going to give the uh, French rebels one more turn to see what they do. Then we'll react to that. Guys, get in there because you're going to replenish anyway, so you move up. And you guys, just in case something happens, watch that bridge for me. 
This army can also be pulled down though, so that's fine. And I'm thinking, yeah, with you guys, rather than going through, we're going to go over to this bridge. We will finally push across from Amsterdam. We will need to leave... Hmm, we need to leave an army guarding it. We would hope that Brussels itself would hold on to it. But, in case it does not, horse artillery will be needed. So yeah, we'll leave that stack behind. So you guys can all march over here. You guys will guard the bridge just in case, and if not, we'll move up next turn. Made it to the bridge. Hoping you're within zone of reinforcement, but we will abandon artillery just in case. Holding that bridge, we should be able to do it. Uh, the French, I have just realized, can push around on that bridge. They might well do that. Actually, I might have just exposed me attack group. Three armies, not at full strength, with no artillery. That could be dangerous, but let's hope they don't do that. Damn it, didn't see that bridge. I thought that was all part of Brussels, actually, so they couldn't get in there. That's fine. That's fine. Can't replenish because we don't have any generals in here. But take too many losses. These guys are replenishing, which is good. That upgrade. Don't need to watch uh, to blockade that port. We can build more ships from there if we need to. Right. What else do we need to do before we end our turn? We've moved up all over here. A couple of open regions, but if they move on in, we've got enough armies to fill the gaps. It might just draw them in to their dooms. Moved everyone over here. That's not our building to do anything with. Uh, we were marching down here as well, were we not? We were. Still need to replenish, so we need to wait another turn before we cross on over into Sicily. Those aren't replenishing. Do I need to pull these guys, or can I pull these guys out? If I pop those guys in, we will be happy. Oh, didn't we, we split the army in half, that's what we did. But you guys go join up over here. Time to get some more militia in you. That one, and then yeah, we've got those two armies to try and take on Sicily itself. Upgrade your trading hub, and we've pretty much spent our money. I can't remember, have I sent more ships around to trade? Was I doing that somewhere? Let's zoom out on that map. I have sworn I was producing a load. Yes, I have. Right, we'll assemble over here. Are we recruiting any more? No. Right, we're at the end of our spree. Get more together. Did I produce any more anywhere else? I did. Here. Yeah, let's just move them out so that I know where to collect on my way, basically. Didn't get any anywhere else. That is fine. Right. Assemble the navy. There's any slots free for them. No, there's not. We've built so many. You can have one more. So you guys are extras. Uh, room for three more ships anywhere. There are over here. So what is most profitable trade-wise? We have cotton. Cotton's at 25. We have tobacco. Tobacco is at... Uh, where has it gone? Tobacco is 24. Furs, 16, so no, not that. Tobacco. So of those ones, it's cotton. Yeah, more on cotton. Let's do that. Send you guys over to join the cotton trade. Then I think we're ready to end the turn. We've got more infantry marching on up here. Over you go, to the bridge. I won't recruit any more now. I think we are maxed out on where we need to be. Although we should probably think about a couple of armies to go after Portugal. 
have two outside. It seems to be like two is the standard for minor nations now. Um, we can we can do that in Madrid, but we don't have enough money this turn, so we'll start doing that next turn. Uh, I think we've dealt with all the navies in the Mediterranean, apart from the uh, Sicilian one at uh, Syracuse. So just just sit there in the middle and look in, look imposing. There's some militia in there. We don't need to, but it's kind of like, ah, why not? Um, you guys are all happy over here. I've got, I'm sure I've got more spies to move, but let's see how France reacts. Kind of like, for me, it's the most exciting part now, seeing what the AI does to my actions. Will they spring an attack on Marseille? Will they pull back to reclaim Paris? Oust the rebels? Will they abandon Reims or will they fortify? What? will France do? I think that will be the title of this video. What will France do? I moved one army further down to Marseille. Oh, oh I'm moving one away. Is that, ah, is that Napoleon? Is that him? Have we found ourselves the French Emperor? In which case, next episode's title will be Hunt for an Emperor. <laughs> Somewhere in the forest there. I might have to watch that video back, uh, watch this recording back and see if that army... I thought it was him because it had like a darker sort of olive coat. Okay, Fran France is moving toward Paris. They're going to pull their troops... In between my forces at Barcelona and Toulouse. That army... I'm dead, I mean, what are they doing? They're pulling a long full back. I mean, there are French rebels there. It'd be interesting to see what the process would be for the AI prioritization right now. Whether they just go, ah, defend the, the motherland. Seems to be what they're doing with available troops in and around Reims. To take out those rebels. Although none have marched on in Paris itself. But surely losing Paris to rebels... Plus the fact that I've taken every one of their settlements besides Reims and I'm currently sieging Marseille. Surely that's got to hurt a lot. In fact, the sooner that we can move in and take Paris, the better. I mean, we've got troops now poised to take Paris in the north. Our forces from Amsterdam, which as long as they're not attacked, can sort of re-equip with their artillery and we can storm into Paris. Depending on what France does here, next episode will either be called Hunt for an Emperor, or next episode will be called The Siege of Paris. Okay, they're still pulling armies out of the forest there. But in fact, we want, we want to push in towards Paris sooner rather than later so that we can uh, take out all the territories and eliminate those armies on the field. In fact, Von Blücher might even be able to be the one to strike Paris, although he'd, he'd have to clear through French rebels right now, unless that rebel army moves. Oh, Hello! Opportunity to intercept all that glorious militia. I'm I'm going to take an order as... Ah, I say that. This is probably a very good striking army to go in for Paris. I don't want to take too many casualties. Am I going to take more by order resolving it or more by fighting it? Thankfully, it's only the one army it's drawn in, so the others can keep on pushing. Ah, you know what? I'm going to order resolve it. We lose 735. That's pretty darn good. That's not bad at all, actually. That eliminates them, pushes them back. Are they going to move in for Paris, though? Are they going to take it? I kind of like the idea of... The f of France are moving in to reclaim Paris, and then I can be hot on their heels because they're uh, they're putting some troops in around Paris, but not enough. Not enough. I think I can march on it next turn. Are they scrambling to withdraw, pull back, or are they are they just gaga at this point, going no idea. <laughs> 
That is the ultimate question. And now, more than ever, I will say it once more, guys. If there are any battles that are currently present on this map... Oh, what's this? Oh, they're, they're dueling me. Um, I'm going to go for a rapier. What's the result? But yeah, now more than ever, if there are any battles or, or zones on this map that you can see that are coming up, that you desperately want to see fought manually, then do let me know. Because at the moment I'm planning Battle for Paris, we might fight at Marseille if we need to. And potentially a fight against Napoleon if we can see him out of the, uh, the forest where he's being ambushed. Okay, so I, I won the duel, I was just wounded. I believe. I think that was the outcome of that. Thanks, Brittany. Look forward to crushing you for your insolence. Are the rebels not moving at all? Are they just they're just static now? Because yeah, that's annoying if those rebels I haven't moved, so von Blucher's path to Paris is blocked. Milan was sabotaged. Who died? Agent executed. Yeah, my lord. Oh, was that... Did I have two spies over here? Oh, no. This man has been apprehended on your soil whilst in the company of an enemy nation. Oh, cool. So we did kill one. A French one, I think. All of you guys over there. That's fine. General is available. God, where am I sending him? Oh dear, that way. Okay, that's fine. He lost the jewel. I have to leave the field with his life. Yeah, so there's that army there, which... Plenty of line infantry, dragoons. When Blue could take that... Oh, there is a, Fr mm, there is a French army on the way. I'm planning on fighting these guys for Paris, which... These armies from Amsterdam can indeed achieve... But we'll come to that uh, next episode. I need to take a look at Marseille. We can also move in with all of these guys from Normandy. So it really is... So we can just bring all of our armies in and then push the battle and make that a big uh, smash. We're going to push on these guys as well. But for now, let's take a look at the situation at Marseille. But before we do, let's start popping our artillery back in everywhere. Because we can, of course, now do that. Who's missing three? Kind of like... End of a night out. Whose coat's this? Everyone got their coats? Yes, there we go. You guys drop some artillery behind. Oh, right next to you. Yes, I remember now. Um, okay, before I bring any other armies up, let's take a looky. Still pretty close. I'm I am su surprised by that, but it's still a lot of militia. Well, let's see if we can't improve those odds for an order result by bringing up more of our forces. Rockets, we've got everything. I just kind of feel like with all these armies here, we built clumps to do a thing. Is to overwhelm our foes. In fact, I love how we've just actually completely been able to ignore these guys. They're like, no, we're not, we're not, we're not coming out at all. In fact, they're probably blocking my movement. That's what I should have taken out last time. If I clear these guys out, are oh, they just gonna? They're gonna run. They're gonna withdraw. I would have thought, though, we'd, we'd trap them in there by attacking the settlement. Yeah, you guys can move up now. Alright, who wants to take him out? Uh, you guys, ooh, you're missing some troops. Why don't I move you guys there? Okay, you guys... Okay, you can't actually move. So you're actually blocking the way. Okay, you guys go in there. If you please. Keep on going. Oh, I just told you to attack. Oh. Trade route. You guys still need to... Why aren't you... Oh, sorry. Oh, I clicked on these guys. Yeah, you can go... Ah, oh, you can't quite reach. Can you guys? Yes, you can. There we go. In we go. Bringing all these guys in. Um, hmm. I don't really... Oh, sod it. You know what? 
Not the most entertaining battle to fight, but I'm going to fight this one just to not draw all my other armies in. We should now have overwhelming odds at Marseille, but there are a fair few forces there, so if you guys want to see the battle next episode, let me know in the comment section. If not, it shall be all resolved, and instead we will push directly to Paris with uh, with our forces. Although, who should have the honour of striking? The Amsterdam force? The uh, Normandy force? Combination of both? Or should we try and wiggle Von Blucher through? I don't think we can. There's too many forces in his way. He'd be weakened by the time he gets there. Quite like the idea of Von Blucher being the one to take Paris. But... I don't think it's going to quite work. How do we want to deploy? We've got artillery. Do they? They have one piece. One piece is all. Two in the middle. One on this side. Put the infantry in between. Two. Yeah, now face the forest, but that's fine. Go for three more, then shuffle the next bit of artillery along, although actually we don't need to too much. Seems like groups of three are our thing today. And then we just need to go here as a reserve protection unit. And here we'll put the light troops... Watching the left flank, but we'll also put all the cavalry here today. You guys have been suggesting that I keep all my cavalry together, rather than splitting them evenly on flanks, just so that perhaps the morale will hold up a bit better. It does mean we don't have any reserves in the centre, but I think we'll be okay. I didn't place any defences, but that's also okay. Any of them that can are to fire on that artillery. And barrage. I should check that actually before I hit the uh, begin. Move them all forward a little bit. Although we've taken out two of their cannons already, so hopefully a few more shots and we'll all be done. They are marching toward me. That's good. Two of five. On two more cannons to annihilate. The next volley. Cavalry over here now. Barrage, if you please. down. Not yet. Targeting their general, though. It's fine. Striking at their cannon. When they get closer, we switch to canister. The cavalry is moving around the flanks. So that they can go after that artillery. And cavalry. Artillery will soon be gone, though. Oh, strike. All their artillery is gone. Everyone to canister shot and fire it well. Ooh, wow. 
Oh, it really sucks to be them right now. Goodbye, cavalry. Tired. I just winded. Hit it in the center and flank it on either side, if at all possible. Pull back. Close to their infantry. Move them on the general. See if we either draw any of them back toward us. No, well, there's militia over here. Move into support. You guys move into the trees. Pulled in from the flank. Not the idea. Get in behind them. And then charge downhill to them. You guys can pull back. We can charge them. That's the one. Now they're trapped. Uh, General is gone. Chase them down. Rest will keep going. Didn't manage to form square, so in we go. If I only have to lose some of my cavalry, I'll be happy. Pull back. Come on. I think perhaps we need to just pull the cavalry now behind my line so that it forces French infantry to attack.
Yeah, I'll do it. Uh, to fire. Speed it a bit more. Next unit's coming on in. It's asking to get slaughtered for me up like that. Goodbye. Right, two units left over here are all that stand in our path of a victory. And gone. End the battle. Heroic victory. Wunderbar. We lost 227. I think that was uh, the right way to do it. Good. Right. Now with that in order. The new balance of power at Marseille is... Actually... <laughs> Actually, yeah, still inclined to fight it. I mean, it's definitely now a happy... Well, it's still it's, it's a win for us for sure. But by God. I mean, total they've got 20,000. Versus... 42,000? 43,000? I would have. I mean, I could demand the surrender and see them withdraw. Or we could fight it. There is a lot of militia, though. Within these forces. So I'll leave it completely down to you guys. We can all resolve it. We'll replenish. We've got a lot of generals here. So we should be fine. Continue to push on. Uh, yeah. We can all resolve it. Or we can fight it. At the start of the next episode. I would then probably reckon that. Probably wouldn't have enough time. In the episode to do the battle for Marseille. And take Paris. Maybe we could, we could push on it. At least set up from either Amsterdam or Normandy. If that is the case, it takes a while to take Marseille or that battle, I might send a cavalry unit through here to see if we can flush out Napoleon. In fact, I'm kind of tempted to just do that now. Find out where he's hiding. So let's take this unit that's already weakened and see if we spring an ambush. Nope. Someone further than that. It's going to have to be from one of you guys. You're the only ones that can go further. Only just, though. No. Okay, well, we know we can move our armies up here, then, if we wanted to, to try and get Napoleon. Probably just to span those two guys so as not to uh, trigger an ambush against Napoleon just there. But anyway, let me know your thoughts on Marseille and on the approach to Paris. But uh, France's time is nearly at an end. We can also, obviously, begin our push from Strasbourg in towards Reims. The end is in sight. So, until next episode, hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, take pride and join the Legion. Check out my affiliates and sponsors, Games Planet, Overclockers UK, QT, and MSI. Till the next one, ciao for now.